Okay, so we've got some of the team in the picture. So, so with the team here, we're talking, I'm hearing, Winston, 80000 bucks. That's how much you need to, to get to Sochi. Is that right? It should be more, but um, we, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, that would help us to, to get some of the, the, the better equipment that um, we can choose from whenever we go over to Russia because the, the temperature there is uh, it fluctuated. So um, the thing is, you, you can't use certain temperature runners on, on certain temperature because you, you got to have the right temperature runners for that temperature that day. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I've never tried it, but you're the professional. I'll take your word that you need this at least this amount of money. And so from, from what I've seen, um, there are multiple websites, multiple groups of people who are trying to help you guys raise this money to get you to Russia. But, but just so I'm clear, these people did this on their own. I mean, have you even talked to these people who are trying to help you all out? Yes. They, um, what I tried to do, I forward everything to the president of the Jamaica Bobsleigh Federation. He's dealing with that, and, um, and I'm dealing with you guys here, with the fans out there, with the media. Uh, this is much better for me right here. <laughs> We appreciate you dealing with us because, you know, we all want to see you uh, get to Sochi. But I have to ask the obvious question, and forgive me for, for asking a question. I'm sure you've fielded many times. But uh, how exactly does a Jamaican get into bobsledding, may I ask? Uh, well, in Jamaica, we, we, we have a, a, a competition there that goes down the hill. They call it a push cart derby. If you watch the movie... It's, um, it's in the beginning of the movie where a guy raced on a, with, with a wood cart, four wheels with two guys, one at the front, you know, Biv and Bava. And, and, um, and there's two businessmen who used to live in Jamaica that um, have that idea, said it looks like a, a, a bobsled. They came back to the United States, um, approached the U.S. Bobsled Federation, asked about um, bobsledding. And, um, and they get all this information, went back to Jamaica searching for athletes. They could not find athletes on the street. So what they did, they, they turned to the military to search for athletes. That's where they found um, most of the athlete, athletes, sorry, um, which is um, Dudley Stokes, who was a helicopter pilot, uh, Devon Harris, and a couple other more guys. From there and here we are. And here you are. I'm just curious. I remember being uh, younger and waiting in line for quite a while, being a kid and, and meeting the original team, the 88 team, uh, once upon a time. Have you, have you, Winston, been a, in touch with any of those guys? Any, any advice from them on how to pull this off when you get there? I, this. I joined 1993. Those guys was my teammate. And those were <laughs> your teammates. And, yeah, it was my team. We wish you luck. We will, we will watch that. Hopefully those numbers grow to get to the 80,000 mark to get you, um, you two to Sochi. Best of luck to you, Winston Watt from Jamaica. And thank you very much. And um, hopefully the people donate to us so that we can fulfill our dreams.